Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me Tobias here and today I'm going to do a quick pond update video. Pool pond update. First, what I want to show you guys is how I've been adding water to the pond because the, the tap water here, I live in Southern California, it's full of chlorine, it's full of, you know, stuff that we don't want in with the fish's water, in with the pond water. So what I've been doing is I've been filling up one of these five gallon buckets of water every day like this one right here, and I put in the water conditioner for the goldfish. Um, I didn't bring it out with me, but it's it's inside. I add 12 mil milliliters of that to this bucket because this is about five gallons, and then I leave it out for a day, and then I pour it into the pond. Let's take a quick look and see if we can see any fish real quick. <laughs> uh, the pump's not on at the moment. It'll come on in a little while. Oh, look, there we go. Got some... It's goldfish over there. Got a little minnow right here. All the fish are doing great. All the fish are in here. They're doing really well. Just our, oh, there we got some down there. We got our fancy goldfish right there. It's a little hard to see right now. There's a lot of glare. Anyways guys, then what I do is I pour this bucket into the top of the filter and that's just in case like you know there's little leaves and stuff floating in this bucket the filter will you know catch those and then when the pump comes on the water will go right into the pool pond And then I add about 12 milliliters of this stuff, which is supposed to make the water safe for the fish. And then what I'll do is I'll just let that bucket sit there until like tomorrow afternoon and then I'll pour it in. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna check the ammonia levels in the pool pond um, using this test kit. I've never done this before, so I was just thinking to myself like I should probably do it because I have no idea what the ammonia levels are in the pond. I, I'm pretty sure they should be fine, but I feel like I should check just to be safe. All right guys, so the way that this works is that I fill this little container up to this line with water from the pond. I then add eight drops of this solution, then eight drops of this solution. Then I shake this little tube, let it sit for five minutes, and then it should, like the liquid should turn a color and hopefully it'll turn a yellow color. This yellow color is the ideal kind of levels of ammonia you want to have, which is like none. Um, if it goes up to 0.25 or higher, then I'm gonna have to do something about the ammonia levels in my pond. If it does show that I have too much ammonia in the pond, what I'm gonna start doing is do some like pretty big water changes, taking out old water from the pond and putting in new water. All right guys, so it's been five minutes and the good news is it looks like our ammonia levels are perfect. We got a solid yellow. Check that out. Check that out guys, perfect yellow. So part of the reason that my ammonia levels are probably so good is because this is a very large amount of water for the amount of fish I have in there. All I have in there is like five regular goldfish, two fancy goldfish, and then um, four minnows, and then five rosy red minnows. So altogether that's like, altogether that's 16 small fish. And if I remember correctly, this pool pond is 870 odd gallons. So what I'm gonna do next is feed the fish. I don't feed them too much. Like I feed them like a small amount every day because if you watch the fish, they're constantly eating stuff on the surface of the water. Like there's always like tiny little bugs landing on top of the water and they're, they're constantly eating. So I just go ahead and throw in some uh, goldfish flakes like every day. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, if your ammonia levels are too high, overfeeding could be part of the reason. The food that is not being eaten by the fish could be 
raising the ammonia levels in your pond or your fish tank. Cool, I'm glad we got to get some footage of the fish actually eating. In order to get footage of them eating, I have to set up the cameras and then I have to leave because they're scared of people. So like if I'm standing there, they won't, they won't eat. They'll just be hiding. So I wanna show you one other cool thing that I have for the pond, which I want to put in very soon. It's this large piece of driftwood out in the garden. Check it out, it's, it's really nice, it's huge. It's like, just like look how big my hand is compared to it, like, it's probably easily like three feet long, at least three feet long. I think it'll create like a lot of really nice hiding spaces for the fish underneath it and around it. Kind of has some very interesting shapes to it. That's it from the back. But the thing about driftwood is if you want to add driftwood to your aquarium or your pond, you have to boil it. And I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to boil this driftwood because you want to like rid the rid the driftwood of all bacteria or like maybe funguses. And also uh, what's really important to get rid of is I believe it's pronounced tannins, which is something in the wood where if you were to put the wood in water, it'll make your water get like a brownish tint, kind of like how tea is. Tea has tannins in it. And what that could do is it could lower the pH of your water. So you wanna make sure to uh, boil it to get all that out. So I'm definitely gonna have to figure out a way to do that to this wood because I don't want my water turning brown, I don't want my pH levels getting screwed up. So yeah guys, I'm pretty excited for that. So anyways, that's just about it for this video. Before I close out this video actually, because this video is gonna be going up on Halloween, which is Wednesday the 31st, let me show you guys my Halloween costume. This is it guys, I'm gonna be Thor, the almighty Thor. I'll show you guys a picture of me in this costume later. One of my friends is gonna be Tony Stark, like Iron Man, and I'm gonna be Thor. So we're gonna be like part of the Avengers. All right guys, so that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was just a quick little pond update kind of maintenance video, but hopefully you guys learned something. And um, I have some pretty cool stuff coming. I'm gonna get some pretty cool plants for the pool pond very soon that's probably going to be my next video so make sure you stay tuned and if you've never seen any of my other videos before i encourage you to go check out my channel my name is tobias and if you want to keep up to date with these pool pond videos make sure that you subscribe to my channel i have a lot of cool content coming in the very near future all right guys i will talk to you guys later oh and like this video peace